Today I'm here at Sport Beach with Samantha Moulton, Chief Marketing and Brand Officer from Sesame Workshop. How are you doing, Samantha? I'm great. What could be better being here today? Sam, let's start with what I think about Sesame and Sesame Workshop. The first thing that comes to mind is Big Bird, who doesn't. But there's so much more to the company and, and the brands. Can you talk a little bit about what you do? Yeah, yeah. Most people know Sesame Street. They've seen the show, or maybe they know the Tickle Me Elmo doll. Right. But what people don't know is that Sesame Workshop is a nonprofit impact global organization that's focused on helping children grow smarter, stronger, and kinder. We're working at the intersection of education, media, and research, and we're empowering a next generation to build a better world, which is why it's so important for us to get Amazing. the word out that we're mission nonprofit. Amazing. I absolutely, Sam, we talked about the mission. That is incredible about helping children everywhere. I think everywhere is an operative word, right? How do you think about you know, bringing education, bringing entertainment, and also bringing access. Yes, well, first of all, Sesame Street is seen in over 150 countries around the world. And it looks different everywhere we are. It could be Sesame Strasse in Germany, Ahlan Simpson in the Middle East, but always we are focused on meeting the most pressing needs of children. So when we move into an, a territory and we launch Sesame Street, we do rigorous, rigorous research. We understand what the need states are of parents and children, and then we build that into our curriculum approach no matter what territory we're in. So when you think about access and also inclusion, you know, there's obviously so many different channels and platforms, but there's also different levels of economics and access. I mean, how are you sort of weighing all those different opportunities to educate and to entertain uh, children? Yeah, well, we have to be everywhere children and families are. So that means focus on high-tech solutions and all of the latest platforms. TikTok, I think the world uh -huh. was waiting for Sesame <laughs> to arrive on totally. TikTok. It was super exciting. But we also have to be focused on providing early learning to families who don't have access, who might be in more remote locations. So we have uh, programs with refugee families who have okay, been forced to flee their homes wow. and we need to reach them on the go. So we'll set up mobile hotspots and reach them through WhatsApp chats. Any way that we can provide early learning to families, we're focused on finding those channels. That's amazing. So Samantha, talk a little bit about mental health and wellness. We were just actually having a conversation about this a, a bit earlier here at uh, Stagwell Sports Beach, but it's such an important and timely topic. I mean, how are you looking at that? Yes, well, as you know, because you've reported on this, some of the world's leading organizations for children deemed there there is a mental health crisis during the global pandemic. We know that that issue has jumped from the number 10 to the number one most pressing concern for parents. And we know we have an obligation, given who we are, to provide the support for parents and caregivers. So we just launched an emotional well-being mental health initiative in May. And it, we have a suite of tools and resources for parents. If you go to sesameworkshop.org, you can check out videos and storybooks. We've also partnered with the Ad Council on PSAs using our Muppets to model oh, moments about how to talk to your children about their well-being, how to celebrate everyday moments or learn behaviors that can help like belly breathing or creating glitter jars so that your child can settle when the glitter settles and also addressing more serious mental health challenges and how to identify them. Amazing. Um, Samantha, last question. You're a strategist and you always look out into the future. I mean, how do you sort of see where you're going to take workshop, you and your partners, as you think about the next five years? What, what's ahead? We know there is such potential to make a difference. When you think about, we have the brain science that shows when you reach children in their earliest years from zero to five, we can have the greatest impact. It's also the time when children are the most vulnerable. And that's why it's so important to invest in early childhood education. And there's a business case for it. A Nobel Prize winning economist Heckman has shown that for every dollar that is invested in early education, it results in nine dollars in economic benefits for society. And when I think about yesterday, yeah. like yesterday was World Refugee Day. Do you know that two percent of humanitarian funding goes to early childhood education? Two percent. 
If we could just double that. Well, and there's an economic case as well as obviously a humanitarian and, and, and people case for it. Absolutely. Samantha, I really appreciate your time. So, Samantha Malton, uh, Chief Marketing and Brand Officer from Sesame Workshop, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of Cannes. Thank you so much, John.